Praise the Lord, beloved. I just want to pray for someone, encourage someone, wherever you are. The title of this prayer is called The Reason for the Season. Beloved, let's turn to the book of Luke chapter 2. We are going to read from verse 25 to 29. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was just and devoted, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it has been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he will not see death before he had seen the Lord Christ. You will not see death. Anything that they call death will not come near your home, neither your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, verse 27. So he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parent brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arm and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your words. Today, anything that they call death, the remaining five more days in the month of December, December to be remembered, nothing will die in your hand. Nothing will die in your house. Nothing will die in your generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will see 2020. As I'm praying for you now, as we're about to go into prayer, that business, that career, that ministry, that schooling, that education will not die in the mighty name of Jesus. That relationship that you are in, don't give up on it. It shall not die. That relationship will grow. Nothing will be aborted in the mighty name of Jesus. I, am, I have come as a servant of God, as a child of God, to decree and declare into your life, nothing shall die in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are praying, wherever you are, on the sound of my voice, no matter what they are saying, no matter what the doctor have said, it shall not stand. It shall be overturned in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree into your life, everything that, that that have become hindrance, that will not kill your success, will not kill your future, will not kill your dream. Today, I cancel it now in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 28, it says, Very, I say unto you, there shall be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. You will not see death in the mighty name of Jesus. Your sons and daughters, your children will not see death. Your loved ones will not see death in the mighty name of Jesus. In this 2019, you will end well. You will see 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus. Your whole generation, just like the children of Israel, after they have crossed the Red Sea, after they have crossed the Red Sea, Marian and Aaron and all the children of Israel, including Moses himself, himself they took the tambourine, they started singing, they started glorifying God. As you are about to cross over in 2020, you will celebrate God, you will glorify God, you will tell the goodness of God, you will praise his holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Not you will die. Things that are dead, things that people have pronounced dead into them in this 2019, they shall be revived. That business, that marriage, that that sickness that the enemy have brought into your life, that the enemy have brought into your family, for you to spend your resources, for you to waste your money. Now, I speak life into it in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are celebrating, we are commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ as we are back to now in December 2019. This is the 20... 10,019 years ago, we now, today, and henceforth, as we are celebrating this holiday, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are, anything that is dead, anything that man have called dead in your life, may they revive now. May they revive now. May the spirit of power, 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 may the spirit of power enter into them now in the mighty name of Jesus. May they be revived now. May they be brought back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like had the Lord God Almighty told Elijah to speak to the dry bone. Everything shall be revived. Not to be dead. Not to die in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. That business, that marriage, that relationship, that schooling, that education will not die in the mighty name of Jesus. That ministry that you are working on shall not die in the mighty name of Jesus. That ministry will grow. Everything will grow. Everything will come back to life. Even your loved ones, wherever they are, that the doctor, people have pronounced death into their lives. People have pronounced, people have decreed death into their lives. Today, they shall come back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. In Jesus' merciful name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Share.